Hi! So, in this video, I'm going to go over a little modification of the Protoflex tip. This modification specifically was made by Ryuvi, who is part of the Yellow Dogman Studios team, and that tool is currently not publicly available, but once it is, I'll be sure to link it down below with its fuller link so that you can try it out for yourself. So, come on! So, over here, I already have the tool. It is a slight modification visually also over the original. As you can see, it has purple instead of blue for its crystals. We can equip it the exact same way, and on the context menu, you'll already see that there are some differences, like select nodes, clear node selection, and set snapping plane. Now, if we quickly get ourselves some code, like over here from a Protoflux tutorial, and we unpack this, we'll see that while I do make a pretty good job at aligning these, they're not perfect because my hands are not on rails. <laughs> now with this tool, what you can do is you can actually grab, and when you grab a node, you'll see this little visual here that allows you to align them to a grid. So we can just quickly grab every single one of these in order to align them. However, that's not all that this tool can do. We can also grab a node and then set snapping plane, which will then lock the snapping plane to specifically this node. So now if I just grab all of these nodes, it'll actually adjust these nodes to our other node. And as you see, we now have this very nicely set. Now if you want to not undo that, we then simply in the context menu again click clear snapping plane. Next, um, another cool thing that this tool supports is select nodes. Now this is a mode where we can simply drag to select multiple nodes like this. And then if we click done in the context menu, we can simply move these around together and they'll also be aligned together, as you can see. Now, to clear the selection, you simply go down here to clear node selection. Now, the last thing that this tool supports is quick and easy deletion of nodes. Because usually when you delete nodes, you have to like select it, go to destroy, and then that destroys it. However, with this tool, you, you also have a little nice visual sound effects, as you can hear when you bought and stuff. Um, but with this tool, when you actually have, for example, a bunch of nodes like this, and you want to get rid of all of them quickly, you simply click the tool with your other hand, which will make this red visual appear, and then you can simply brush them all away, and it'll destroy them. And as you can see, all of them are gone, as they are no longer parented underneath here, they're just completely deleted, so keep in mind that this does in fact delete, no delete nodes. We click it again on the tool, and the tool is back to normal. But yeah, other than this, this works exactly like the Protoflux tool, and is a pretty powerful tool to work with. As I said before, once this actually releases, and Ryubi puts it in a public folder, I will link the public folder down below. But for now, this is how you use it. If you have any suggestions for something else that I should cover, do leave it in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!